Hello there everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring! In the last episode we managed to find our way here to Godric the Grafted and uh, we got our ass hand handed to us um, in a quite handy and convenient way. Anyway, since then I've been doing some levelling up, as you could probably see. Now, what I've been up to is basically um, uh, farming. And I didn't want to show it because I don't think that's very particularly exciting me killing the same enemies just over and over again and leveling up but that's where our stats are now also you can compare them to the last video if you like now I know Godric is probably going to kick us ass again so I thought I'd go and explore down here instead but first we've got to deal with this critter Big angry man. Whoa. Yeah, he moves faster than you think. Cool. And obviously I've got my new spell as well, Glinston Stars. Which I think is really cool. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look down here, see what is uh, happening. Ooh, okay, what's down here? Smithing zone, lovely, they always come in handy. Oh, what's down here? I don't really want to go that way. Be proud. You are a fine warrior. You are a master. Let the wings lift you to a higher place. She's standing over one of those knights. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. If you intend to challenge Godric, I do. I ask you call upon me. Oh, a friend. Foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Apologies, as fellow down whatever. Okay, okay. So she's gonna help us with the Godric fight. That's awesome. I think I've come around here before because I recognise that area with the birds. So I think I've come down this area before. I also think there was a golden seed over here. Maybe I have been this way. I just didn't quite make it all the way around here. I can't remember. I think, now that we've got her on side, why don't we challenge Godric again, but with an NPC helping us? Because I think, uh, yes, I don't want to summon uh, too much, but at the same time, I think it'd be quite cool to get some NPC summons in. And does her sign appear? Yeah... Very cool, very cool. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Now, this guy's fast. He's a bit like... Um... 
Ujimi what's it? Uh, the fellow, and he's very much like him in the sense that he's very quick. Jesus. That roll is dangerous. Is he going to grab the dragon to himself? No way. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, Christ, he's got a ranged attack now. I've got absolutely no way to heal myself at all. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we got him okay. We got him okay. Let me see if I did pick up a golden seed, because I don't know if I did. Oh, I think I've only got one. Uh, okay, fine. Cool, let's try again. This is very much going to be the Godric episode, so, um... Yeah, you can hurrah yourself after we've beaten Godric.
Okay, we got him down much faster this time. And we still got both of our helpers. Jesus, the range on that is mad. Damn it. This is going to be hellish. Damn it. We're getting him down to that last sort of fifth. Damn it, he pushed me into it. I actually didn't do too bad on my own there, to be perfectly honest. It's that move when he does the whirlwind around him. That's when he gets tough. Mm. Damn it. Godric's really tough. Good place. got to do as much damage as possible before he takes out uh, Nephili. We could do it. We could do it. We've done it. <gasps> We've done it. I ain't returning anywhere with you, you freak. Oh, can I give my jellyfish a big nug across the f f top of the head? A big pat. Thank you. Oh, my God, that was a fight. Great runes you receive by defeating shard bearers have lost their beneficial power. However, their power can be restored the divine towers throughout the lands between. See the description of each great rune to discover which divine tower you should visit. Godric's great rune. Remembrance of the grafted... Oh, 15,000 runes. Yeah, man. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that was a fight and a half. Who's this? What a pathetic excuse for a lord you were. 
craven to the bone pushing me about oh, that's like that. godric and after all that grafting where did that get you look down on me would you godric you filthy slug feel it feel it feel my bloody wrath <laughs> um, i think you find we did all the work oh. mate hello there this weasel was godrick was always looking down on me he got what he bloody deserved thanks to you i tell you though what goes around comes around he had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? <laughs> Considering you were the guy that locked me in with that knight, I should run you through now. Gosh, Doc. Okay, he's got some useful stuff. Buckler, ballista, bolt, ballista, bolt. Jesus. Okay. I can't believe we just beat Godric. That's amazing. I'm so glad I hit record in that fight, my word. I, I was very, very quite happy to just, like, you know, use it to practice. Okay. Be wary of giant rump. <laughs> That's ace. These must all be like lords of the area, like from this area. A bit uncomfortable about the fact that there's literally nothing around. Beware of a friend. Well done. Oh, who are you? Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. Okay, we've got an item there. Let's just take a quick look. A yellowing, oozing eyeball of the infirm. The surface is shriveled and the inside is squishy, not unlike a large, overly ripe grape. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. Interesting. So where are we going now? Back outside by the looks of things. Whoa. Mariana of the Lakes. Okay, there's a sight of grace over here. I think that is one of those divine towers, you know. Oh, that's really cool. It literally is marking our journey. Look, it's great. Right, let's have a look at that uh, rune we got. Devoid of any benediction, seek the divine tower of Limgrave, which stands beyond the great bridge from Stormvale Castle. It must be that one.
I'm assuming this is a great tower, a divine tower. I am also extremely aware we have 15,000 runes on us, so... Uh, Church of Irith. Ooh, I'll talk to you in a minute. Sacred Tear, that's going to increase our... Um, You're tarnished, aren't you? Watch my jugas. Perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Plinstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Well, bless you, bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Tops. Tops. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Great. Glimson Pebble, Glimson Arc, Starlight. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. What to do? Nip up the shops? Why not find yourself a without one? You can't pass through the academy, and you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the academy. Hmm... You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Hmm. Don't give up, try God. Hmm. I'm loving this sort of ambient track that's been that's been playing since we got here. It actually reminds me of playing uh, like like wander around the countryside in Might and Magic and things like that. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, okay. Slightly overkill. Oh, Jesus, okay. Okay, I'm actually sucking at this. Let's see if I can kill one.
Uh, okay. Ooh, Academy Scroll. What is this? Not sure. I'll look into it. Quite happy just sort of wandering around for the time being. But yeah, this is a complete, completely new area. Okay. I think we've done a fair bit of wandering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the Church of Allah. And I'm going to uh, get leveled up and what have you. And then, um, and then yeah, we're going to explore on. Sorry, I wasn't commentating much. As I said before, guys, during big boss fights like Godric, I, I have to concentrate. So apologies. Um, I'm really, really enjoying this game. So honestly, I've not lost any buzz for it at all. It's fantastic. Um, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, when I was grinding, uh, the Maidstone appeared... And she actually talked about the um, going to the round table hold, which I didn't actually get chance to um, do because, uh, like I said, I've only just started recording again. So in the next episode, we'll look at that for definite. Anyway, until that time, guys, thank you very much indeed. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.